GoPro Max Lens Mod was probably one of the best accessories to get for GoPro Hero 9 and Hero 10, as it offers enormous field of view, 360 degrees horizon lock and better video stabilization. However, GoPro Hero 11 Black and GoPro Mini already come with Hyperview and horizon lock out of the box. So, despite all of this, the question for today is GoPro Max Lens Mod still worth getting if you already have GoPro 11 or GoPro Mini or maybe it's useless. So, one of the reasons why GoPro Max Lens Mod became so popular is that it offers 360 degrees horizon lock, meaning no matter how you move the camera, the horizon stays perfectly leveled even if you spin the camera around like crazy. On the other hand, GoPro 11 offers horizon lock out of the box, however, this feature is only available in linear field of view, which significantly crops in on that image, so the camera can further stabilize it. So Max Lens Mode offers a really wide perspective, which can come in handy when you record POV shots, whether you record yourself or you mount the camera to your body. Now, GoPro 11 Horizon Lock is only available in linear field of view, which is pretty bad for POV shots. That view is really zoomed in, so you have to have some distance from your subject. GoPro Hero 11 has a new digital lens called Hyperview that uses the new 8x7 sensor to give you the widest field of view possible, but it doesn't support horizon lock and uses only the basic level of video stabilization. Additionally, Hyperview is pretty distorted on the edges because it's all digitally stretched by the software. Max Lens Mode is pretty limited when it comes to the camera settings, as you can only use it with 2.7K up to 60 frames per second, which isn't really much for an action camera. Whenever you want to shoot 4K or 5K, you have to physically remove it from your GoPro. In comparison to that, GoPro Hero 11 offers full 360 degrees horizon lock in almost all resolutions and frame rates combination, except for 5K 60, 4K 120, and 2.7K 240 frames per second. And for all of those settings, GoPro 11 uses horizon leveling feature, which keeps the horizon leveled up to a certain angle. Now, let's focus on its durability and price. GoPro Max Lens Mod costs around $99 or $79 if you are a GoPro subscriber. But nevertheless, it's still very expensive. 
and you have to be extremely careful about not scratching it. Just a small accident or some scratch and it's gonna be either destroyed or it's gonna affect your video quality. You know, that lens is not protected in any way and since it's sticking out so much, it's just a matter of time before you hit it into something if you're not careful enough. With GoPro 11, the camera lens is protected by the protective lens. You can use it with your camera in any conditions that you like because it's not so fragile. And even if you break it somehow, then you can easily replace it for just $20. Alright guys, so let's summarize it all now. Should you get GoPro Max lens mode if you already have GoPro 11? Honestly, I don't really think so. You already get that 360 degrees horizon lock and even wider field of view than Max Super View thanks to that new sensor. So I can't really justify spending another $100 just to limit your camera to 2.7K 60 frames per second. And not to even mention that you can easily destroy it the first time you delicately hit it into something. So unless you really love recording POV shots and you must have that horizon lock with wider field of view, then yes, you can get some benefit out of it. But if you have GoPro 11 or you don't really record much of POV, then I don't think GoPro Max lens mode is gonna be for you. For today's video guys, that's gonna be that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.